Well, today we're going to be looking at some Star Trek books, and this is um, something that Zavi were doing. I think they're st at the time of recording this, they're still offering this available. So basically, you get a random selection of ten of the uh, Eagle Moss collected comic strip books for ten pounds, which is mad value when you think of it, because they're normally sort of twelve ninety nine each or something like that. Um, you don't get any choice on the ten you get, um, but I thought you'd might want to see I sent off a one packet and this is a 10 that I got so first one is countdown which is volume one so this was the sort of 99p start your collection one which I already had because obviously you know I paid 99p I imagine everyone probably gets a copy of this um, and this is uh, uh, a crossover between Star Trek Next Generation and the J.J. Uh, Abrams' Star Trek, I believe. I actually read it, yeah. Um, next one is Star Trek The Newspaper Strips. This is fascinating. So, Star Trek motion picture, my favourite Star Trek film. Uh, I love the look and the style of the motion picture. Uh, and this is um, the LA Times did a continuation of the film in the motion picture universe. Um, and it was a syndicated newspaper strip but evidently not many people sort of took it up because it just wasn't sort of popular I don't think Motion Picture quite did uh, the box office they thought but this is uh, really fascinating so I'm really happy we're getting this one um, weirdly the uh, it's based after the film uh, but they feature Ilea and evidently the, the artist hadn't seen the film, so didn't know what the plot was, um, and really liked the pictures he'd been sent of this bald female navigator. He just thought she was a sort of non-script member of the crew. So he included her in the first few uh, newspaper strips. And then it was pointed out that Noah, Leo and Decker disappeared. Um, so they then just wrote her out. You never see her again. Um, the first strip is pretty interesting, so basically... Uh, uh, they land on a planetoid, a little moon that turns out to be hollow, and they get kidnapped. Um, it's not its not bad. The artwork is gorgeous, though. It's really nice. Um, the script is not bad. At least they all sort of talk how they should. Whoever's writing the script has actually seen the motion picture. And then later on, let's see if we can find it, you get uh, strips featuring all the... The aliens that are, you know were very heavily touted, but then didn't really do anything. So I'm so glad I got this one. It was one I was after anyway. Um, look at that Klingons. Uh, so yeah, really happy to get that. That was for me. That was worth the tenner anyway. And everything else is sort of gravy. The next one, Star Trek UK Comics Part One. This is still sealed. This one. Uh, so basically, this is collecting the. UK only comic strips that they published um, in oh, I can't I'm trying to remember it wasn't TV action it might have been TV action it was let's just see it was one of the UK uh, comics um, I wish I could remember I think it's TV action something like that and basically it's it was strips that were never reprinted anywhere and they were written and drawn by people that had never seen Star Trek because Star Trek hadn't started showing in the UK when these. This was the UK's first view of Star Trek. So lots and lots of things are wrong with it. But it does make it fascinating. It's like reading the gold key. Uh, TV21, that's what it was in. Of course it was. The artwork is lovely. I think uh, it's the, uh, the same artist that used to do the Thunderbird strip. So n pretty much none of the actual... Um, hardware other than those that like you'd get photos for like the Galileo 7 and the Enterprise but none of the interiors really look right. Kirk just wanders around the entire time in a red shirt and survives but it's gorgeous. I can hear Maggie meowing she obviously wants something um, but it's absolutely gorgeous really well done full colour painted strips um, absolutely gorgeous so there's two volumes of that so in one bundle I got both volumes so I'm really happy with that one um, and again, some of these are sealed and some are not. Next one is the uh, After Darkness, so it's I think it's a comic strip set. 
after Star Trek Into Darkness. Um, weirdly, just recently rewatched all three of the Abrams films. Um, love them. I think they're really good. They're they're not the Star Trek we know, but they're what Star Trek sort of modern Star Trek is. I mean, compared to Discovery, they're works of art. Um, again, comic strip is really nice. Fully painted. Um, likenesses seem pretty good. Looking forward to reading this one. Um, some of these books as well, I don't know whether this one does, but some of them at the back, this one does. You get a, a lovely gold key reprint as well. I love the gold key comics. They're so cheesy and mad. I mean, this one is mummies attacking the Enterprise crew. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so that's a good one. Happy with that one. So, so far, so good. Um, then we've got a TNG DS9 crossover, Divided We Fall, which, uh, again, I mean, you've got to say all the artwork is nice. Oh, there's another gold key at the back. Zombies this time. Oh, I love me some gold key. Turn back or die. Um, Spock was in the red shirt there. Uh, so the artwork on this uh, crossover is really nice. Um, back to pen and ink, which I, I always like. I sort of prefer that, I think, to fully painted. Um, so this is a next generation DS9 crossover story. I think it will be a good read. Not entirely sure when it's set, but it's after I think season six or seven of DS9 because we've got the other decks. Um, then we've got this one's still sealed, so I've not opened this one yet. And this one is a Mirror Universe saga for the Abrams verse, which. I think will be good. Uh, yeah, two issue story, so I'm presuming it'll probably have a gold key at the end. And then we've got Edge of the Galaxy, which is again uh, Abrams Star Trek, which I'm really happy for because I'm sort of into it at the moment. Uh, so this is a six issue collection. Um, and again, IDW's one. So really good and then also which I was quite pleased with they've got the two specials so these these were I think every when you did the subscription every now and again you got a, a special issue and this so this is one where you get it's got dust jacket although you can take it off if you want it to match um, and they were sort of a bit bit above the rest quality wise really nice paper thick and this one is Planet of the Apes Star Trek crossover, which that seems mad. I don't know how that's going to work, but I had a quick look through it last night, and uh, Kirk's, the original series Enterprise, um, goes forward in time, so we've got all the uh, Planet of the Apes things. The artwork is lovely in this one. They've all been pretty good, but I do like this style of artwork. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading that one. And then you couldn't think it'd get any weirder. And then we've got a Star Trek Green Lantern crossover. Um, and this is a crossover with, looks like the Abrams verse, because it looks like Quinto as Spock. Um, I was ne I'm never a big fan of the, the Green Lantern comics. Um, so I don't know a lot about the lore, um, but I think it'll be a, a nice, uh, nice read. Very busy pages on it. Right? Is that the general style that Green Lantern had? Yeah, Abrams, there we go. Pine and Quinto. Um, so yeah, so all of those for £10. Um, and I think the postage was, I want to say one twenty five. It wasn't a lot. I was very surprised. It might have been £1.99. Um, and it came like the next day. So uh, if you want a bargain, go to zavi.com co.uk or zavi.com I'll have a look I'll put the link down below and see if they still got it I mean they do say that if you order more than one package of 10 you probably will start getting duplicates um, but as a starter set or even just a you know an absolute value for money bundle of comics to read which is what I'm treating it as 10 pound bargain and I'm especially pleased with that newspaper strip one because like I say, I was after that. I keep an eye on eBay for that. Um, so really, really happy to get that as part of this. Like I say the rest is pure gravy. But uh, let me know if you collect these. I, have, I don't know what issue they're up to. Going to be loads of them, isn't there? 
Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. It does help. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.